Hello Inner Universe community. Our topic for today is Never Procrastinate. Now I would like to start this video with a story or shall I postpone it to the end? No, I won't procrastinate. So this is the story. There was an old woman and the god of death came to her door to take her soul. So she was not ready to go because she had lot of work to finish and so she told the god of death to come tomorrow and he said okay she is anyway old so this is her last wish so let me make it true for her okay i'll come tomorrow and then she pasted a paper on the door and this paper said come tomorrow and the next day the god of death showed up at her door and she said can't you see at the door come tomorrow he came again the third day and she said see what is written on the door come tomorrow so now you know from where you got this phrase tomorrow never comes and she never died <laughs> this is just a story but the the lesson that you get from this story is invaluable that you should never procrastinate you have heard about now or never don't wait until tomorrow if not now when and so it is true procrastination is the thief of time and there is a song if you have something to give give it now give it now if you have something to say say it now say it now yes now is the only moment that you have that is why it is called the present moment it is a gift it is a present that you have with you you can use it in the best possible way you can there is no past and there is no future there is only the present moment now and you should make the best use of this present moment if you can make the best use of your present moment that is the now then your tomorrow will be beautiful anyways because you will finish all your tasks you will not procrastinate you will concentrate on your task that you have in hand and you will do it in the best possible way because you are living in the moment so now is everything now don't say tomorrow i'll vow never to procrastinate again so that is procrastination again you see it is very easy to take care of procrastination how make a to do list just write down what all things you would like to finish off today 1 2 3 4 now prioritize you have to write down the list of items according to priority and then you do not have to stress over this list even if you tick off about three items from this list out of five that is work well done you have just made very good use of your time that day and do not forget to reward yourself you know you should also ask for help delegate some of the work you can ask others some sincere people around you for help so you can finish off the task well and don't try to multitask because then you cannot concentrate also your self affirmations yes i can do it makes lot of difference i will do it today i must do it today but not by stressing out on it just willingly doing it you want to do it you want to finish your work that is why you say i will do it and once you finish it you will feel really wonderful you can tick out one item from your to do list so this is a very good idea there is no need of perfection also you do not have to be perfect in everything just do it that is more important and then there is always time to improve and add up anything that you would like to add up you can do that later later is procrastination but anyways you have at least finished 
50% or 60% of your work. You can also try out Kaizen, the rule which can really help you not to procrastinate. Kaizen means that you do something only for a minute every day. For example, if you are procrastinating, exercising, you just jog for one minute. Don't go outside. In your drawing room, anywhere that makes you comfortable, you just start jogging. What happens is your willpower will develop. And then when you start seeing results after six days or seven days, when the flow of energy is there in your body, when there is positive flow of energy in your body, you will feel like going out and doing that exercise. So that will be five minutes and five minutes of regular exercise every day. If suppose you have to do up your room, don't try to do the entire room. Just start with holding a pair of socks or your shirt. That's it. Five clothes. Then the next day, another five clothes. That is how you can just tidy up your room. Then reward yourself. A room is not tidy until you light up a lamp. So that is how you can just think of creative ways of tidying up your room. If you have to practice just one song each day. Don't try to practice for three hours because the next day you won't do it. So just one song each day. You want to write something, one page each day. That is how simple it is and it can change the way you go about doing your things. You should also follow the 80-20 rule. Yes, 20% effort and 80% result. Work smart. Don't keep working very hard. You know, like when I am making this video, just give the most important points that can make you understand the topic it is not necessary to go around looking for quotations and what people are saying no the most important points can make lot of difference in the way you receive my message so the important message is not to procrastinate and how not to procrastinate so now you know one make a to-do list two Self-affirmations must be really positive. 3. Do not forget to reward yourself once you finish your work. 4. Do not multitask. 5. Take help or delegate. 6. Follow the 80-20 rule. 7. Kaizen. 1 minute each day. That's it. Your willpower will increase. You will see the results and you will want to exercise more read more many people say i don't have time to read just one page each day before you go off to sleep that is what it requires to finish a whole book you have time for everything what you have to do is to prioritize your work and enhance your willpower that has to come from within the will to do has to come from you you must do it don't stress over it but have the willpower to finish something. Once you have started, you should finish it. Don't finish the entire thing if the portion is too much. Break the bigger tasks into small portions. And you will be able to do it very well. School syllabus is too much. Just divide it into chapters. Now, 30% of the chapters you can just delete from the portion. And the rest of the chapters you can do well. You will have more time to revise. What is the use of spending time on something which you are not understanding? Some of these chapters which you know really well. You can answer all the questions from these chapters. And the rest you can just understand and make it easy. And instead of mugging up, just understand what is the gist of what is being said? What is the gist of the, what is the crux of the matter? The idea is to find the solution of how to go about doing something. So the bigger tasks can be divided into smaller tasks. Now take for example, tidying up your room. 
So do up the books today, only the books. And then the next day you can change the bed sheet. The third day you can just clean up your table. And that is how you can clean up your room. So you do not have to do the entire thing in one go. You can divide it. And so you are comfortable doing it. And you will not procrastinate. So the first reason that anybody procrastinates is that you find it very difficult to do it. So once you make it easy for yourself to do it, to complete it, you'll not find it difficult anymore. So no more procrastination. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Sanchita Pandey, your mentor and spiritual guide. And if you have any topic in your mind that you want me to speak on, please do write in the comment section below. I would love to get a reply from you. Thank you so much Inner Universe community. I love you. May peace be with you.